Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the P10. Friends, today we're going to try and cut an acrylic keychain that has white underneath the top color layer. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So this is our material. It's got the white underneath black on top we are going to do the same let's get cracking keychain from the previous project if you want to see how that one is made i will of course have a link in the video cards all right friends this is our keychain once again we added some text a circle and then we used the tools offset shapes to get the cool outside line if we check our cuts and layers currently we are set at a line we're doing two passes 600 speed 90 power and it cut through the gold and black keychain. Absolutely awesome. We are doing an engrave of 3,330% 3, power. And it's working out pretty darn sweet. So friends, now let's line this up on the laser. First thing, of course, is to power it on. There you can see it's home, so it is connected. I'm going to pull these other pieces out of the way. Let's use the move command to get the laser up there. I will remind you once again, we're gonna use shift nudge and shift nudge. That goes 10 times as far as your normal nudge. And then also make sure you've got the correct laser. I've got the P10 loaded. Also gonna let you know that I'm doing my origin from the bottom left. You can adjust this however you want. Actually, let's try something crazy. I'm gonna do this one from the middle. I've got the fire button on, so if we nudge over here and take a look, we're close to the middle. I'm going to do control down a couple clicks and control over a couple clicks. I am going to hit frame and let's see how close that comes. <laughs> Watch that one more time, but I'm going to do control to the right. Let's test that again. That stayed on the bottom edge. That totally fit. So we are testing from current position center. Of course, friends, we are gonna grab the goggles and let's make something magnificent. All right, everybody, so moment of truth. It etched beautiful, but just like I thought, it is not cutting through that white. It just can't cut through white. That is just a problem with using the laser light. It won't go through anything that reflects. Just for giggles, I'm gonna try and cut a circle over here. Let's see if we can find numbers that do let us get through. All right, everybody. As you can see, I've got a tiny circle. I have set it to five passes. We're gonna do 600. I'm even gonna bump the power up to 100. This will only take a moment to do. Let's frame it and make sure I've got it on a piece of that stuff. That was pretty groovy. I think I can do control up and use my material just a little bit more wisely. So maybe I can test it more than once. I'm gonna do control left as well. Let's frame that again. That looks good. Friends, it is time to grab the goggles. Let's hit start and do one more test to see if we can actually cut through this black and white acrylic. All right, so that was super speedy. <laughs> um, it is making a mark underneath but it did not cut through and it's just not as clean a cut so i'm gonna say for right now friends fun for the ones with black underneath but if you want to do a shaped keychain it's just not going to happen with that white layer below it so let me show you how this works i have loaded the same project 
and I'm not going to cut the fancy outline, so I'm just going to disable its output. We can still see that it exists. We've still got our other rectangle, but we're just not going to use it. And also, I'm going to ignore the hole too. I'm going to drill that separately. So friends, let's peel off the protective layer. I'm going to get this in the middle-ish. This is one of the nice things about using that center area. Now let's hit frame. Okay, that did not fit great. I'm gonna watch it one more time. I'm gonna do control up one nudge forward. Back to my move commands, there's that. I'm gonna do control right one nudge too. Let's check that frame again. All right, I like that. So friends, glasses on, and all we're gonna do this time is cut the letters. Alrighty friends, does not have the fancy shape of the gold one, but as you can see, it does engrave like a champ. Let's get cracking. So there you have it friends, playing with that two color acrylic and making an awesome keychain. Was not able to cut it out. And friends, if you've got tips where you think I should be able to cut through that white, I'd love to hear your suggestions. And I do also want to let you know, I visited the website today and they're starting to throw Black Friday ads. You can get these for even a little cheaper. Once again, make sure you check the links in the description. Finally friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.